A riveting new documentary takes us deep into the life of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. like never before, revealing a stunning look at the FBI's surveillance and harassment of the civil rights leader. Take a look. After Dr. King gave his famous March on Washington speech, Wednesday, August 28, 1963, in a memo dated the 30th of August, no later than that, the second person in the FBI, it may have been Sullivan, sends a urgent memo in which he says, after the March on Washington, it's clear that Martin Luther King Jr. is the most dangerous Negro in America. And we have to use every resource at our disposal to destroy him. That was a clip from MLK FBI, from Emmy Award-winning and Oscar-nominated director and producer Sam Pollard, who has built a monumental career, masterfully telling stories like two trains running and eyes on the prize. And he joins us now to tell us about this new one. Sam, it is so good to have you with us here. And you use You use newly declassified information to put this story together. I think people have a general idea that MLK was under surveillance by the government, but this takes it to another level with this new information. Why did you want to tell this story? Well, you know, I was motivated by a book that was written by historian David Gow that looked at King and how he had been surveilled by the FBI and J. Edgar Hoover for, from 63 on to the, to the day of his assassination. And I was so intrigued by reading that book, I turned to, reached out to my producer, Benedine, who had also read the book, and we both thought this was a, a film that we should do. So, Sam, obviously, so much, so much research, so much time put into this, but I'm curious, there are so many similarities to what was happening then at the peak of the civil rights movement to what's happening today in this country. Did that play at all into how you told this story? Not originally. I mean, we know how complicated America is even today in the, in the age, the, almost, the, it, almost the ending of the age of Trump. But, you know, what's, what's fascinating both in some ways sad is how it becomes so resonant even more in terms of what's been happening in America in the last eight months. Sam, here we are on MLK Day and a celebration of MLK, but at the time, the, the, the focus, as your film talks about, they were trying to bring him down by a, a character assassination. They thought they could stop a movement by stopping the man and discrediting him. We're celebrating his life and legacy today. Why did they fail so miserably at what they were trying to do? They failed miserably because the press at that time didn't take the bait. They didn't take on stories about people's personal lives and, and use those to, you know, to spread that kind of information. They just didn't do it then. And so even though, you know, Hoover went out of his way to kind of destroy, you know, destroy King, no one in the press took the bait. I think the sad thing about what Hoover and the FBI did was the creation of that letter that they sent to his wife, Coretta Scott King, basically intimating that maybe King should kill himself because he's such mm -hmm. a horrible human being. You are shedding light on what actually happened, and we need this information to process what happened and to move forward. MLK FBI is available on demand and in select theaters. Sam Pollard, thank you so much for being with us on this historic day. Thank you both. Have a good day. All right. It really is incredible, people. You should check it out. There's a lot of footage in there we haven't seen before and information that was just wow. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.